Is this the best view from a train station in the world? It would have to come close. Welcome to Venice. If you're arriving by plane, you have a couple of options of how to get to the island from the airport. We chose to catch a water bus. Be careful you don't get tricked into taking a private taxi because they can cost a fortune. You can also catch a bus over to the terminal. There the roads stop and you can get about by either walking or continuing on the canals by various boat options. A popular choice is going under the Rialto Bridge and getting off at St Mark's Square. The lines were far too long at the Basilica when we arrived so instead we chose to visit the Doge's Palace. This is the Hall of the Great Council, once the largest room in the whole of Europe. It used to get so hot in the sun that the meetings from this room were moved into the nearby armory. Entry to the famous Bridge of Sighs can only be made through the palace. If you'd like to go on a half day trip, I definitely recommend a visit to the outer islands of Murano and Burano. Murano is full of quirky character and is famous for its glassware. Shops abound, but be careful to check you're buying authentic Venetian glass and not cheaper imports from China. The same goes for when you're on the main island too. The glass museum is full of beautiful pieces, although small toddlers might need close supervision. Burano is another water taxi ride out, and this island is famous for its fine lace and linen and brightly coloured houses. It's a nice place to simply stroll around, although the crowds do tend to increase as the day progresses. You can even get a photo holding up, so to speak, the leaning bell tower of St Martin Bishop, as the kids are here. On the way back to Venice, you pass by the cemetery island of San Michele. You can also visit it and you can locate the graves of Ezra Pound and Igor Stravinsky, among others. Venice is a magical city. Come to karenandrews.com.au if you'd like to learn more. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for all the latest updates.